at Jason Rossi backstage with Paramore. Woo! Uh, Let's go for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Usually you have audience and stuff. How you guys doing? So good. You're so the only good. one I'm talking to. Yeah, I'm just going to talk to you. Uh, yeah, is, so yeah. good to be in Boston. <laughs> is it really? Yes, we love Boston. Now, good do you be here. say you love Boston because you actually love Boston? You guys, like, do you have any ties here? Do you have anything that... What do you love about Boston? We genuinely love this city. We love walking around and, and shopping and hanging out and we love the energy just around boston and we always have amazing shows our fans here are awesome and yeah. there's not a lot we don't like yeah. yeah we have a lot of memories here actually in this spot before it was house of blues it was the axis yeah. and we played eight or nine times and then we moved up to the avalon for like two or three shows yeah. something like that and it's just cool the evolution of it and it's i'm just excited that music is still going on right here you know <laughs> you, i think we're a little more excited than you are but we're glad that you guys are here awesome. and um you know i think it's funny because there has been a lot of evolution with you guys not um only as growing from a band you know albums new album power more uh, quick question what made you go with the self-titled now, if you don't mind me, uh, not self-titled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but what made Paramore the album now? And the song now is in there too. But anyways, yeah. but you know, w w was there any like, hey, we don't, we want to come up with a creative name, or just, uh, just kind of like, you know what, this is us, this is Paramore. Yeah. Like, how did that kind of work? That's it. I mean, we we're so proud of it, and we feel like it um, sort of speaks to all the different sides of who we are, both mm -hmm. like as a band and as individual people. So. We just thought this is the one, you know, if, if we're ever going to give our name to, you know, a group of songs, like a body of work, this is the one. All right. Is there any per particular song in the album that you're most proud of or anything like that? I know that's like a really cliche yeah. radio question, <laughs> well, but I'm just wondering, like, when it comes to, like, putting an album together, I, I just love to get, like, from especially like a group like you guys, we've had a lot of radio success, commercial success, and continuing to grow and, and expand. Like, w is there anything with this album that you're like, you know, this was the song that really, mm. like, when you guys got down and wrote it or, or were singing it, like, this one just really was it. And you can have all three different answers if you want. Yeah, but we'll then you can fight will. about it. <laughs> we probably will have different answers. I mean, right now I'm really psyched on Still Into You. I know mm -hmm. it's our single and everything, which normally I feel like my favorites aren't always the single, but mm -hmm. I love this song. I love the music so much and it's really fun to play live. Okay. That was the first song we did as well, right? Uh, no, we right. did Well the first one we finished. Yeah, oh, yeah. in the studio, Sorry. yeah. This is me yeah. brain farting over That's here. Okay, listen. <laughs> no, you're um, right. I really like uh, Ain't It Fun. It was fun to play. We had an interesting time in the studio making sure. it. Um, just all getting our groove on, our funk on, man. Yeah. It's like hard. Yeah, you had to get down with it, so we all got down with it. I like a song called Future. It's the yeah. last song. I'm digging that one too, man. Woo! Cool Remember that time when you guys... Uh, Toured with Jimmy Eat World. Yeah. That, that yep. was awesome. That, that was that awesome. Was cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I always uh, wanted to wonder because, you know, you guys, like, I read a lot about it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, chubby <laughs> guy kind of thing. Um, no. But the thing, no, it's okay. It's okay. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to eat your food. Um, <laughs> no, I think I really dug about, you know, with, with a band like you guys is, you know, you're youthful. You're, you've got so much energy. Even coming in here, you know, I'm sure you do a million radio things, but you still seem like, hey, this is the coolest thing in the world. And yeah. I, I just feel the energy in the room. Nice. And Bob Marley's there. Yeah. But, um, you know, you, you've toured with a lot of bands, I'm sure, that, like, drew inspiration to you guys writing records. Yeah. You know, getting up in the morning, probably going to school and being like, I just want to go play music. Is it weird now when bands are citing you guys, like, individually as well as a group as mm. an inspiration or, you know, it, it, like, yeah, even Kitten, I've seen things like Paramore is one of the first records. And I'm like, yeah. isn't that weird yeah. to hear that? And then, be like, not only are you on tour with them, but just hear in general, like, yeah. people saying that. Like, is there any story of any of that, like, that just, like, blows your mind? I mean, it's just, it's crazy in general because we still feel really, really young. And then we brought Kitten out and they're like the age we were when we started touring. <laughs> and, and I'm like, God, because I look at Chloe and I just want to cradle her and be like, <laughs> it's okay. You know, because, and she's. Uh, There's she, lawsuits about that. But <laughs> right. you know. She, well, she like is 17 or 18 years old. And I didn't realize how young we were when we were 17 and 18 years old, you know, and even like younger than that. I mean, I think I was 16 when we first hit the road and like, you know, I felt like an adult. I felt like, you know, I knew it all and <laughs> everything was cool and I tried to fit in. And um, it's just weird now being at an age where we're not I don't feel like we're we're still not as old as some of our favorite bands are. You know, mm -hmm. like we love Jimmy World and we love Sunny Day Real Estate and they're a lot older than we are. Mm -hmm. But um, it's weird to be in the middle now. You know, we're not at the we're like we're not the youngest anymore. We're the middle siblings yeah. now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
bedtime's a little later. Yeah. You get to, you sit, get to stay up, up, sit up, up get, front in the car front sometimes. Front yeah. <laughs> awesome. And, um, you know, the one thing that obviously the record, number one, as soon as it came out, like, that's got to just, like, I guess, you know, what's funny to me is, that, you know, you guys are youthful. You have the energy. And like I say, you every time, and I've seen interviews, and I'm technically doing an interview, yeah. and you just seem like you're having a lot of fun. Why are you having so much fun? Like, I know that's like another weird question, but, like, do you ever just be like, is there ever days where you're like, I don't think I can, like, I could imagine myself doing anything else, but at the same time, sometimes you're like, I just want to go home. Yeah. Like, what, what, yeah. when that happens, and maybe I should say as an interviewer, the question should mm. be, when it gets, like, that homesick feeling or that kind of stuff, yeah. what keeps you guys, like, the three of you not wanting to strangle each other or, or <laughs> you know, keep going? Well, we don't want to kill each other, so we don't strangle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I Remember mean, kids, it's really, don't it's, it's really um, tough, man, being on the road and away from everything that's comfortable and mm. you can get agitated easily and little things like that but um i think that after touring so long and everything we've been through i feel like um we know that you can decide if you're gonna smile or be bummed out sort of for the most part and and the reality is that we're just having so much fun being out on tour and with each other and our friendships and everything's blooming man so there's no reason to frown all good. You just you inner Bob Marley right there, dude. Uh-huh. Did <laughs> Jeremy is like Jeremy's the best at smiling all the time too, and it's it's very genuine. It's not a fake thing, yeah. phony thing. Um, Taylor and I, I think a lot like <laughs> days where I'm we get depressed. Well, yeah. No, <laughs> well, we just we are like more. I don't really know what the what the right word for it is, but I just know that if Taylor or um, if Taylor or I are having a, a bad day or we're feeling depressed or homesick, Jeremy's always like the dude to hang out with because he's always able to like pick up the mood in a room, you know, and, it, and it's awesome to have, you know, I mean, I think we each can do that yeah. at separate times, but it's, it's awesome to have hit like Jeremy's personality in the band because I tend to get really intense or really like stressed out over stupid things and and Taylor too Taylor will get re- super intense over one little tiny detail and and sometimes it's told them blue M&Ms <laughs> <laughs> told them blue M&Ms well, maybe not those kind of details yeah. but you know what I'm saying like it's nice to have a friend I think I think every friend group probably has that one person that's just really like who just knows how to rise above certain situations and or every situation and um, and it's nice because Jeremy definitely does that for our band. Sure, yes. I know you guys yeah. got a yeah, d- dude. You just got the best compliment. Honestly, ever. that yeah, was I serious. Want you to stay in Boston. I'm a bit embarrassed. Like, I may need you at the radio station. <laughs> All Things right. get depressing there too. That sounds uh, good. What, <laughs> what, what what time do you start in the morning? Because that oh yeah, that whole morning. There's like thing. a like, certain this morning. morning yes. <laughs> um, well, last thing, you know, obviously the. I think my favorite part of a group like you guys is that my inner 13-year-old chick inside <laughs> loves you. My 28-year-old male loves you for the rock. There's pop. There, You guys cross so much, and I think that is so cool. And I think a band like you guys is needed. And this is going to – now we're getting deep. But I think it is because, like, you know, you know, everything is very – I don't know how to say it. Like, transitional and, like, it could be this name one day, that mm. name the next. But with Paramore, I feel like you guys have been around now. It's been, like, what, six years of, of like, straight, like – you know, in pop culture, <laughs> and you guys are still growing, and you're not changing. You haven't gone like, all right, we're gonna do a techno pop album, right, and, yeah. and like, and I know I'm sure an inspiration for you guys. I don't know particularly like you guys toured with No Doubt, yeah. and I was at that show, and I said, oh, and cool. I and I was like, I worried for a second that I was like, that you guys might turn. And I'm not saying bad, anything bad about No Doubt, yeah. but they kind of went to like a different phase because they've been doing it for uh, whatever yeah. 15 years yeah. before that. Now they kind of do the reggae stuff, yeah. and but. My thing is, like, I think it's so cool that you guys are really staying true to probably what got you here. It's, mm. you know, there's soul, there, there's funk, there's pop, there's rock. And I think that touching all those bases is great. Now, what keeps you guys staying in that realm? Like, you, you have rock records, you have pop records, and those both are on the radio. Like, how do you guys, you know, why don't you just say, hey, dude, if we go techno, we're going to be number one? <laughs> Well, because we don't like techno, I guess. That's it. That's all I <laughs> needed to know. Maybe no. <laughs> Taylor probably could answer that. More. guess I'm going to answer it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, you know, it's actually just really good to hear you say that because I think... I'd represent everyone. Just well, <laughs> perfect. No, because I think that we we were a bit fearful that we were going too far outside mm-hmm. the lines. You know, I think, um, you know, I, I think our first three records were, were definitely different from each other, but oh. they were definitely in, in, in uh, similar veins to each other. You know sure. what I mean? And I think we were nervous with this one. I feel like we were kind of coloring outside the lines. And um, so it's awesome to get, you know, an aff- affirmation that, that it does sound like us and feel like us and that we're staying true. Cause I mean, obviously we believe in it and we didn't, yeah. we weren't trying to make something for the sake of making it different. 
Um, but it was, it felt like, we, we kind of felt like, are we just like shooting ourselves in the foot? <laughs> like, are we about to end our career? Yeah. And so it's been incredibly uh, encouraging to hear yeah, things absolutely. like that. So thank you. Well, you guys got the House of Blues waiting for you. I appreciate yes. the time. And definitely keep it going. Ten years from now, we'll, we'll all come back. We'll all be older Woo! as our favorite bands. And I just want to thank Paramore for their time. Thank you. Thank you.